हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल टेक वेगनर मीरवीन रीअरेंजमेंट रिएक्शन दिस इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रिएक्शन सो यू कैन सी फ्रीकुंट क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस टॉपिक समटाइम्स यू मे हैव दिस क्वेश्चन इन कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ अदर रिएक्शन अदर नेम रिएरेंजमेंट्स नेम रीअरेंजमेंट्स एंड विद ऑर्गेनिक रिएजेंट सो यू कैन नॉट रिकोगनाइज इजिली दैट इट इज वेगनर मीरवीन रीअरेंजमेंट बट यू शुड हैव नॉलेज अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ इट basically whenever you want to stabilize your carbocation you want to get a stable carbocation after the migration of alkyl group it is called as wegener meerwein rearrangement so in short you can say it is migration of alkyl group to cationic center so we want to generate a stable carbocation through migration we want to generate a stable carbocation we know that third tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary and secondary is more stable than primary so we have to follow a simple concept for this reaction so first suppose i am using this reaction in which we have a acid condition so we know that this h plus will combine with this oh to form oh2 plus so it is a good leaving group it can easily remove and we will have carbocation which is secondary in nature now we have here two possibilities we can migrate one proton from this carbon we can remove this proton or we and we will get double bond here or another possibility is we will migrate one of the methyl group out of these two right so we will see result of both the migrations so this proton this bond will shift here suppose in first step so when it will shift here we will get a double bond and we know that this double bond will not be stable because it is on bridge head carbon right so this product cannot be possible it will not be stable in nature second possibility is that we are migrating this methyl group here right so when you will migrate it here this carbon will be will become electron deficient it will become electron rich after the migration of methyl but it will become electron deficient what will be the that you will get positive charge here and this methyl will migrate here and we will get product like this now one proton from here this bond will break and you will get double bond here so this will be your final product so how we have decided that which which is our final product on the basis of stability of carbocation right this carbocation is secondary while this one is tertiary in nature so it is more stable so ultimately what we want we want to generate a more stable system through this rearrangement then in next example again the same scene that we have to add this proton so we can remove this water and we will get a carbocation here right now we will have to migrate this bond so this carbocation will become we will get this is secondary carbocation and when we will migrate this bond when we will migrate this bond we will get a tertiary carbocation here so first we have to number all these carbons then we can easily understand this point so suppose this is number 1 3 4 5 7 and this is 8 so if i will migrate this bond to this carbon means i am directly attaching the carbon number 4 and carbon number 6 previously we have carbon number 5 in between 4 and 6 but now i want to attach 4 and 6 together so i will directly attach these two right and this carbon number 5 will remain as such but now it is carbocation it is tertiary carbocation right so it is more stable as compared to tertiary secondary carbocation right next step is the this bond will shift here and we will get a double bond at this position we will get double bond like this right another way of writing this molecule is we can write this portion as bridge this one as bridge and this these two carbon will become like this you can also number them for your convenience but this is very simple that this part will become this part will become this one right and these two methyl group will come here and this is your double bond so this will be your final product this is again wegener meerwein rearrangement next one is that we are using here hcl 
so first we have to attach H plus released from this HCl and we will get carbocation on this carbon right so this is already your 3 degree carbocation it is already stable but here we have a ring which is 4 membered and it has highly strain in it so to release its strain we can migrate this bond right so when we will migrate it here when we will attach this carbon or you can say that we can attach this carbon to this carbon directly right suppose i am numbering it then it will be easy this is carbon 1 2 3 4 5 6 and it is 7 so i am attaching carbon number 7 with 1 i am breaking this 6 and 7 bond so what i will get here these two will directly link right it will remain as such and we will have now carbocation on sixth carbon so it is secondary carbocation but it due to this shift due to this uh, rearrangement we will we have released the strain of this ring now it is five membered ring it is more stable as compared to four member ring right that is why we have done such type of migration so you have to remember this the the only factor is not the stability of carbocation if you have a strained ring in the molecule then you have to also apply this rearrangement reaction next step is the cl released from this hcl will attack here and you will get your final product we will see the same type of uh, question in gate 2019 also next we have another example is it is also similar to previous one right so first we will attach this h plus with oh this is very simple part that it will form oh2 plus and here we have h next step that it will be removed and we will get secondary carbocation so in this case i am i have a secondary carbocation right there is one possibility to get a stable carbocation this ring is already quite stable that we have five member ring we cannot have a ring larger than this only thing we can get here we can get a stable carbocation how that if i will attach this carbon number six with two means if i will migrate this bond you can understand the migration or if you have doubt you can understand that this six and second carbon will attach together we have to break it this carbon number one and six bond right so when i will break this and attach these two i will get i will get a tertiary carbocation here this carbon will become electron deficient this will form a bond with two but it will re remain electron deficient right so next step is the same as we have done in previous cases that this bond will shift here and we will get a double bond here right we will get this type of structure or another way of writing it suppose first i will number all these then it will be more easier to understand one two i have not given the number to this carbon in previous case also so i am again not given this carbon any number one two three four five six and this is seven so suppose this carbon number three is your bridge and this two and four is like a bridge head like this this is carbon number two and this is four and we have a bridge in between these two and this is denoted by your carbon number three right and on carbon number one which is attached with this two we have a double bond and it is attached with this carbon number seven which has two methyl group and on car num carbon number uh, five and six this four is directly attached with five and this one is attached with six right so we have molecule like this we can also write this one like this so i think this is more easier way that we will number this one then we can easily find out the final product otherwise we can write the we can have wrong interpretation next we have a question from gate 2019 so 
as i have said in the starting that they will not directly give you this type of uh, migration uh, wegener weierman migration or rearrangement reaction they can give you in combination of other reactions like in this case they have given us first wegenard reagent and then they have used hcl so first i will form attach with this wegenard reagent with this carbonyl group right then we will do its acidic hydrolysis so it will form a carbocation here like this right this is your secondary carbocation so if i will migrate one bond to this one then i will get again secondary carbocation but the strain of this ring will be relieved so i have again given the number of all these carbon so i have to attach this carbon number 4 with this one means i have to break this one four carbon bond so first time writing that i will get a five membered ring it is obvious that we will get a five membered ring suppose this is carbon number 4 now here we have a new carbon inserted this one on which we have this methyl group right and here i will have this carbon number 1 which will be carbocation because the bond between 1 and 4 is break is not there and this four is attached with this one so its valency is completed but this one is electron deficient right so we have here again secondary carbocation but if i will migrate a proton from this carbon to this one one carbon then i can have this tertiary carbocation here are two possibilities of migration that i will migrate this methyl if i will migrate the methyl the situation will remain as such there is no change so migration of methyl is not useful if i will migrate this proton then i will get a tertiary carbocation right like this right next step is very simple that cl released from hcl will attack here and i will get product like this so you have to check the stability of carbocation first two things are there stable stable carbocation formation and the if you have a strained ring then you have to relieve the strain of the ring right so your correct answer will be option number d then like again the same question from uh, again we have question from gate 2019 so this question is not directly wegener meerwein rearrangement it is actually the neighboring group participation reaction but i have included it here because its second possible reaction is a type of this uh, wegener meerwein rearrangement alkyl group migration so first we will see the question from gate 19 that uh, we have here this tosyl group which is anti to this pi bond so in ke, uh, in carrier book summary i have told you in detail the what is neighboring group participation right so if you have any doubt you can watch it there i have also discussed this question in uh, that summary but i am again telling you that the leaving group and the neighboring group which will participate which will provide electrons to the system should be anti to each other right so here we have this pi electron cloud and this leaving group anti to each other so when this leaving group is removed we will have carbocation here which can be stabilized this pi bond so what type of structure we will get we will get a structure like this now in next step we have this acetic acid so this acetyl ion will attack from the same side from that our leaving group is removed means the configuration of the molecule of the starting uh, reactant will remain as such there is retention in configuration this is very important part right so what we will get here this acetyl group will attack here and the pi electron cloud will get will back to its original position right so this will be our product this is option number b but suppose your leaving group is not anti to this pi bond so this neighboring group participation is not possible and if the condition is like aqueous sodium bicarbonate is given then what will happen that when your leaving group is removed you will get a carbocation here like this right so one possibility is that this bond will migrate this alkyl group will migrate here and when it will migrate means you will directly attach this carbon 
with this one so when you are breaking this bond means you are attaching this carbon with this carbon this carbon your bridge head carbon will become electron deficient in nature means it will become your carbo cation but it's it is not a uh, bridge head now right because the bridge is not there after the break of this bond so we will get carbo cation here and we can write down it in a different way this is your four membered ring you can see that this portion this one is your four membered ring so i can first write down it and this one this carbon this carbon this one and this one, these five will form a five membered ring or you can number it also 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so carbon number 1 2 3 and 4 so these 1 2 3 and 4 will form a four membered ring this one right and this is your 1 4 this is 2 and 3 and here you have this carbocation here i will have this double bond right and this aqueous sodium bicarbonate will provide ultimately water molecule so we have to attach oh here right this will be our final product so this is all about wegener meerwein rearrangement if you like my videos please share my videos with your friends thank you so much for watching